So the first drill we're gonna do, we got these bags, we're gonna warm up the legs, get the blood flowing a little bit. Going one foot in each one. I'm gonna jog through it so you can see. We're gonna do that. Ah, ah, ah. Then we go two feet in. <laughs> Spread out. Lateral drills. You can flip your hips with it a little bit. You're gonna sprint out. Sprint. Work the lateral stuff. I know it don't look like a D-line drill. But it's something new, it's gonna help with your footwork. So we're gonna do a running back drill first with your footwork. You're gonna do it two times. That's two times, you go straight into the hurdles. Ickies, then you come here for explosion. Then you right back into the ickies. And you finish with two of these, and you're running out. Twice, down and back, same thing. Speed it up a little bit. Here, explosion. Get it right out. Do that a couple times. Go through, get a little fatigue, I'm feeling it. Next drill we got, we got the tennis ball drill. This is more of a get off reaction drill, hurt with your explosive. You can do it on turf, you can do it on grass, you can do it on concrete. Get a partner with you, and you're gonna progress. You're gonna start at five yards. Your partner gonna hold the ball like this. Here, let it go. Once he moves, you explode out. You're trying to get the ball, you wanna catch it off one bounce. It's tough. Work your conditioning too, down and back. And as you get it at five yards, you move to six yards, seven yards, eight yards, nine yards, all the way to 10 yards. Had a mindset that you got to get it. If you don't get it, start from the beginning and trying to get it again. The next drill we're going to talk about is hands. One of the most important things you can do. You got to learn how to defeat the guy in front of you to get to the quarterback or get to the running back. You can do it on the tree. You can do it on air. It's just about doing it over and over so it comes second nature when you got to do it in a game or at practice. First one you're going to do, we're going to work a swipe. You work a swipe more when you got a puncher. A guy that's doing this high puncher like this. You got your hand like this and you just swipe it. Anytime you rush, you want to close the distance. Work your move, flip them hips. They help flip your hips. Just learn to reach. Run, run, reach, that's what we call it. So bang, bang, run, run, reach. Full speed. You can do it with a stutter, one step, or you can just go right off speed with it. Boom. And you just work it. And one of my favorite moves that helped me a lot last couple years, the chop club. So if we did a puncher like this, now you got a low hand guy like this. So what you want to do, you want to step, one step off the ball, and this is the chop, just to block that, that low hand, and the club, you can get to the back of the shoulder pad. So once you do that, that foot touch down, you're already to the move, right to, to the quarterback. Get the ball. A sack's cool, but it's a lot better when it's a strip sack. When you hit the back of that shoulder pad, make sure you push him away. Push him away. All the drills I showed you today, it's all about repetition. It's about doing it over and over. The first time I practiced some things, I didn't know how to do it at first. I just practiced it. The more you rep it, the better you get. Become second nature, you can do it on the football field and dominate.